Well, hello, IDS 105 students, and welcome to week three, module three here in your IDS 105 classroom. As always, your experience here at Southern New Hampshire University is important to us. It is our policy and practice to create an inclusive and accessible learning environment. If there are aspects of instruction or course design that present barriers to accessibility, please notify the Online Accessibility Center, the OAC, as soon as possible at 866-305-9430. You can also email the OAC team at oac at snhu.edu or visit the Online Accessibility Center website. A couple of webinar reminders. This is an academic space, so always be mindful of your conduct. These webinars are not graded. They are not required, so you do not have to watch them. However, you will learn ab about how to do assignments from week to week and or we will talk about the concepts that you're working on in your course from week to week so they can be super helpful for your success. As a reminder, the majority of the IDS 105 Learning Community webinars are pre-recorded or on demand and available bright and early every Monday of the new module when you start them from week to week. A couple other housekeeping items is as always, y'all, be sure that you are reading and checking those course announcements in any of your SNHU classes because that is how your instructor communicates with you. They'll often post helpful tips and tricks and ideas for your success, plus reminders of due dates and deadlines. Also, do not forget to check your SNHU email. That is also the way the university communicates with you and you don't want to miss out on anything important. As always, if you're stuck, you have questions, you're not sure of something, especially if it comes um, with questions from any of your course assignments or your classes, please email, call, or text those faculty. You can find out the ways that they communicate by visiting the My Instructor announcement in your Brightspace classrooms. Do not hesitate. We want you to be successful and pass our classes here at SNHU. Couple of week three, module three reminders of what is due and what you have on your plate this week is you will have another project draft assignment and you'll also have a discussion assignment this week. So a couple of just reminders for your success is for those project drafts, you need to have Microsoft Word or a PDF or something compatible for you to be able to open up that template and type right in it. Plus, you have to have Microsoft Word or something compatible that is submitted so that your instructors are able to access the documents you're submitting and grade them. A couple of notes is video note submissions are not permitted for project drafts. They must be written, assignments submitted. Um, you do get Office 365 for free as an SNHU student. So if you do not have Microsoft Word or something compatible, you do get that for free. You can find it under the help area of your Brightspace classroom. Click on online student services and scroll down to Office 365 and other software. Please make sure you're paying attention to which questions you are answering this week in the week three, module three project draft. And I will be showing you guys that in your classroom space, but I just wanted to give you a quick reminder to make sure you're paying attention to what you're answering. Yes, you can open up the document that you submitted last week where you completed the questions for module two's project draft assignment. And you can, in that same document, answer the questions for module three, okay? You don't have to start over. You don't have to make a new document. You can just type right in that template utilizing that same document that you used last week. As a question post is due on Thursday with your peer responses and project draft due by Sunday. As always, you can turn those assignments in earlier in the week as convenient for your schedule. Um, just make sure that you adhere to the initial initial post being submitted on Thursday, peer responses by Sunday, minimum of two responses to your classmates. Don't forget that. And then that project draft due on Sunday. So y'all this week, we really focus in on the concept and term of cultural fluency and what does it mean? So if you are not familiar with the term cultural fluency, when someone is said to have cultural fluency, it means that they can effectively navigate different communication styles across cultures, okay? It also means that the characteristics of somebody who is culturally fluent, for example, has a wide understanding of a variety of cultures when it comes to any customs, beliefs of those cultures, values, attitudes, and behaviors of those cultures. So it's really having kind of a wide understanding of a variety of people and their backgrounds and really just being able to speak to those things, but also understand where they are coming from. 
this week's assignment for your discussion assignment, you are answering two questions. The first question is, what are some ways that your knowledge of cultural fluency can benefit your self-awareness? And the second question is, in which, what kinds of situations could you use your knowledge of cultural fluency and self-awareness? So, for example, maybe, um, as you guys might know or not know, this might be all new to you, and that's okay, is often different cultures can have different concepts of time and time management. This is just an example. So how could you um, utilize cultural fluency and self-awareness to help maybe navigate situations where things are different, okay? Um, so this for you, use what you are learning in your classroom to help you answer the questions. Use any personal, professional, academic experiences to help you answer these questions. And if you don't have... Um, you know, you haven't been around a lot of diversity, you're not really very culturally fluent, this is all new to you, that's okay. You can still answer the questions and just use examples. And if you get stuck, let your instructor know, okay? As a reminder, initial discussion posts due on Thursday, peer responses due by Sunday. Your next assignment is your second project draft that you are submitting. You are using the same chosen scenario that you picked back in week two, module two. So you would have picked either the school scenario, the personal scenario, or the workplace scenario. You will be utilizing that scenario to answer the questions for module three. As a reminder, if you need a refresher, a kind of the overview and all of the details about your scenario that you picked, go back underneath supporting materials in your classroom space under the assignment for week three, module three, and click on scenario profiles, and it'll pull up all of the details about each scenario. So for module three, pay attention to which questions you are answering because you will now be in part two of the project draft template. Last week in week two, you answered part one. You are now going to be in part two and that encompasses both questions that you answer in module three and module four. So pay attention to which ones you're answering in module three. They are these two questions. Number one, describe how you would demonstrate cultural fluency in this scenario. Type your response in the template. Question number two, describe how cultural fluency benefits your self-awareness. As a reminder, y'all, be detailed, write in complete sentences, use examples. It can be helpful to tie your concepts and how you're applying it together, okay? Um, couple of things I wanted to point out before I share the classroom space with you and where to click and where to find everything is that as you are getting into week three, module three, Things are busy, right? And for a lot of you, you might have questions. You might be stuck on things. This, you know, sometimes maybe things are going great. Sometimes maybe they're not going so great. And I just want to remind you all to ask for assistance and push that easy button as you may need something. So as a reminder, you have so many resources here from the university, just a click away. You can access yeah, SNHU resources, the departments here at the university via my SNHU. You can access them directly from Brightspace. All departments have a phone number you can call. There's an email address from a faculty standpoint. A lot of faculty might text message. Just check that my instructor announcement. Plus, you have webinars that are offered by the library, by the career services team here in the IDS 105 learning community, academic support, and the list goes on and on. You just have a lot of resources at your fingertips. So I want to walk you through just a couple of situations or scenarios you might find yourself in, maybe not this term, but maybe a future term, just to help support your success. And the first one is, is to ask questions early. Y'all, if you have questions about something down the line, an assignment, a project, or maybe you have something that's coming up you know, for work or a life event, you know, ask those questions early. Don't wait until the week that something is due to ask. You're just going to be worried about it. It's going to cause anxiety. So if you have questions, ask early. There's no sense thing, such thing as a silly question. I guarantee it that you won't be the first student who has asked a question, okay? Also, do not hesitate to ask when you don't understand something. This could be that you don't understand an assignment or where to access it or even how to fill it out or how to complete it. This could be maybe when your instructor is grading your assignments from week to week, you're not really sure what they're asking you to do or their feedback wasn't clear. Um, or maybe it's just directions you don't understand um, or what you're supposed to do for a due date. Whatever it is, if you don't understand, reach out and connect with your instructor or your advisor to make sure that you understand what is expected of you, how to do things, because it's all going to be for your success, okay? I also like to remind students, to ask and let us know when there's a situation. Y'all, life is gonna happen. It happens to your faculty and the staff here at the university too. 
work schedules can change, technology can break, Wi-Fi can go down, um, we can break fingers and bones, we can lose loved ones, we could have to travel for, for work, we could have baby come early, baby come late. You know, there's just so many things that happen. Sometimes life just gets the best of us and we don't have a great week. If there's ever a situation where you might not be able to turn your work in or something it is that has happened that has prevented you from accessing your classes, I mean, it could be so many things. I've had students that, you know, the things like hurricanes, bad snowstorms have knocked out power. Um, I've had students that, you know, were working on their classes from their phones or tablets and the children in their house got a hold of it and, you know, smashed it and it now no longer worked. You know, life happens and things happen and we can support you in your success when we are aware that something is going on. So don't hesitate. Let us know when there's a situation. Let us know if you have questions. Also, let us know if you're frustrated. You know, sometimes with being in an online school, you know, there's everything is very techy. It's very electronic, right? For many of you, this might be new and you might be overwhelmed by it. And it can be easy to get frustrated if something's not working right or your system or your machine isn't connecting something right. So reach out and ask when you're frustrated. Take a deep breath. Make sure you ask the questions um, in a nice way, in a professional and respectful way. But reach out and ask because we would rather have you feel supported and get the answers that you need than to just be think that you are alone, which I love this quote by Liz Lamore. Sometimes asking for help is the bravest move you can make. You don't have to go it alone. You are not alone here at the university. We are so excited that you have chosen us to either start or continue or finish your academic journey. We know that you are 100% worth this journey and we want to support you and we want you to be successful. So please do not hesitate to reach out if you need anything or if you have questions along the way. Um, all right, I'm gonna share my screen with you real quick just to kind of show you where to click and where to find everything for week three. One thing I did wanna remind you, of course, is if you do not have Office 365 or are still struggling to have a Microsoft Word or something, Word availability or something compatible, click on the help, that down arrow, click on online student services. It pulls up all of those departments and teams here at the university. So we are literally a click away. Just a reminder, if you get stuck, if you have questions, everything is right here from the library to academic advising, the bookstore, the help desk, financial services, SNA2 Connect. If you haven't gotten in there yet, there is a dedicated IDS 105 learning community. Um, plus you can find clubs, organizations, all kinds of fun stuff in there. This Office 365 and other software is where you can find um, how to download Microsoft Word or Office if you do not have it yet, okay? Also, if you're struggling with your writing mechanics and your grammar, um, or any of your writing assignments in any of your classes, remember you do have the academic support team and their menu of services at your fingertips for your convenience. They have 24 seven drop in tutoring. They have workshops, peer tutoring, academic coaching, but one of the big heavy hitters that students really like to utilize is this written feedback service. So you can upload and submit your drafts. This could be project drafts. This could be journal assignments. This could be discussion board assignments. Um, and then you select there's a short little questionnaire you fill out when you um, click on try it now and you'll select the most important areas for your tutor to focus on and they'll give you targeted feedback within 12 hours um, to help you feel confident in submitting that assignments and maybe making any changes that they might recommend okay so I wanted to point that out um, here in week three module three as a reminder of course menu learning modules when you click on that it's going to pull up all of the weeks we are in week three so you want to click on module three as a reminder don't forget to click through the content that's with actually within the module always click through the introduction and go through the learning objectives and the overview as you scroll down and click over you of course will come to any reading that is located within the module remember this is very helpful do not skip this part because often it has the answers that you need for your success on your assignments. In addition to any required resources, reading, videos that you might need to connect with and review for your success too, okay? Um, like I said this week, you have that discussion assignment. So right here, that 3-1 discussion, cultural fluency, you're answering these two questions. As a reminder, initial post due on Thursday responding to at least two of your classmates due by Sunday. If you wanna submit those earlier in the week, you sure can as convenient with your schedule. And then you have this 3-2 project draft. This is your second project draft. Make sure you click on the guidelines and the rubric. And when you do that, it pulls up an overview of the assignment, just like it did in week two. Plus it'll walk you through the directions and what to submit. If you need that project template again, right here, click the blue, it gets you to where you wanna go. When you open it up, remember you will not see the highlights. This is just 
my document to kind of show the differences. You should have identified your scenario and completed part one last week in week two. You're going to want to look for this part two, and you will notice that these two questions that you're answering from module three are right here at the top um, underneath part two. I just wanted to point out there's a total of five questions, but you're only answering two of them this week. The other questions you will answer, answer in module four. You write your answers as always right in the template, okay? Write in complete sentences. Make sure you're checking for grammar mistakes, things like that. Use example that can, oh, it's very helpful to help you connect the dots to the concepts that we're talking about and applying in the class, okay? Once you are set and ready with your answers all filled out, you save it and you submit it underneath that module three project um, draft for your instructor to grade, okay? So that is the big things, of course, for module three, week three. And just in case, too, you need a reminder on those scenario profiles, click on the blue, get to where you want to go, and it'll pull up the extended version of all of the scenario profiles with the examples of the scenarios and any conflicts. Reminder, we are not doing anything with conflicts yet. We are just focusing in on the actual scenarios for school, personal, or workplace. Y'all, that's all I have for week three. We look forward to reviewing your assignments for this week. And just remember, you got this. Have an amazing week three, y'all.